The ESP01 is a very cool little ESP8266 based board. I really like them because they have Wi-Fi, they are very cheap, small, and they are supported by the Arduino IDE. What I do not like is the programming. The ESP01 doesn't have a USB chip on board, so you need to use an FTDI adapter or you can buy some special programming boards. But all of these need some magic button sequence, which you will forget after a few days. So not easy to use. Then I found the video of Mika Kurkela. He had the brilliant idea to use a Node MCU as a programmer. This makes programming the ESP01 feel like a walk in the park on a sunny day. Let me show you how that works. Here you see the ESP01 on the left and a Node MCU board on the right. What we will do is disable the ESP8266 chip on the Node MCU and connect the ESP8266 from the ESP01 to replace it. To do this, you will need seven wires. First, you connect the Node MCU enable to ground. This will disable the ESP chip on the Node MCU. Then you connect VCC to VCC and ground to ground. TX to TX and RX to RX. Then you connect D3 of the Node MCU to the GPIO0 of the ESP02. They are actually both GPIO0. Then you connect reset to reset. Finally, to enable the ESP01, connect the CHPD pin to 3.3 volt. When you are finished with the wires, you will have something like this. But if you want to use it more often, you can solder something like this. Now let me show you how it works. I open the Arduino IDE and this sketch will blink the LED and write something in the serial monitor. Let's upload it. The LED is blinking and the serial monitor is working. And I did not need to push any buttons. So that works. For programming, I always select the generic ESP8266 module. Some ESP01 boards use an ESP8285 chip. This one has integrated memory. The ESP8285 is easy to recognize because it does not have this memory chip here. So this idea of Mika Kukela was very smart. It makes the ESP01 modules much easier to use. I will leave a link to his video in the comments and also a link where you can find how to set up the ESP8266 in the Arduino IDE. If this video was useful for you, please like and subscribe and leave your experiences and tips in the comments.